welcome back to my channel. It's Toya with Makeup and Books with Toya. Thank you so much for joining me again. I'm so sorry I've been late on my post, but today I have a very special treat for you. We're going to be doing this beautiful glitter cut crease with a purple smoky eye. And this was inspired by Aquaman's brother. That beautiful, gorgeous, silver, purple, and silver suit was just awesome to me and I really enjoyed the movie so we're gonna jump right in okay first you know me I'm gonna moisturize my face by spraying a little rose water on and then I'm gonna go straight into the NYX Prime and Correct primer this stuff is amazing I love how it gives me a gorgeous healthy glow to my skin I'm gonna put my hair up because honestly it just gets into everything. So I put my foundation on, it's in my hair. I put my primer on, it's in my hair. So we're gonna move that back. And I'm gonna just rub this in with my hands like lotion. It's no big deal. Next I'm gonna go in with the Baby Soft Primer by Maybelline. I love this stuff, it's amazing. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna color correct a little bit with the Maybelline Color Correct Pencil. Hey. I love color correcting with this pencil because it blends out so really well and it looks really natural on the skin. So it's like one of my favorite color correcting pens now. I know you guys see my kids running around in the background. They're a little crazy, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be blending that out with a Real Techniques Beauty Blending Sponge. This um, sponge I've had for a while, so please don't mind how dingy it looks. Then I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I do not remember what shade I am in, so I will go back and I will make sure that I leave that down for you guys in the box below. Yeah, everybody just kind of walks around during my YouTube videos, and you know what? It's okay, because I'm a family woman. I've got a lot of kids. <laughs> I've got a lot of nieces and nephews and brother-in-laws and sister-in-laws, so everybody's always at my house all the time, and I love it. I love my family. I love hanging out with them. Um, if you guys find it distracting in my videos that, you know, there's always kids and people running around, you can let me know in the comment box below. I will do my best to try and find a more quiet area. Um, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer today um, because I'm going for a really full coverage look. But as I was saying before, um, if it's distracting for you guys, um, you can let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to um, try and find a quieter area, I guess. But for me, this is the best place in the house that has the best like sunlight and everything in the house. So it's like, I like to do my videos here, but if you guys would like for me to do them elsewhere, I can try and make accommodations. But like I said, there's probably always going to be a kid or two that's going to interrupt because I have four of my own and I have several loose and nephews. I am putting the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder um, and setting my makeup with that. And I went ahead and just did my eyebrows because that's too long of a process and I'm not trying to put you guys through <laughs> that. Um, if you want me to do a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows, please do not hesitate to ask. I would love to do one for you guys. Um, just leave a comment in the comment box below and let me know. Um, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape to prime my eyes for this makeup look because I want to get those purples as deep and beautiful as possible. And the palette that we're going to be using today is the Bling Boss Palette by Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. And I absolutely love this palette. The pigment in it is insane. And it's amazing. And it's like quickly become one of my favorite makeup palettes because I love purple. It's my favorite color. Um, once again, just setting it with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. And then we're going to jump straight in. Okay, so the first color I'm going to go in with is this light mauve purpley color called Hush Hush. I really, 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 really love this color. It's so pretty. If you just wanted to do a very simple, neutral eye, you can just put a little bit of this on the brow bone and then just go in with your wing liner and it, oh my god, it just looks so pretty, so natural. Oh my god, I love this color. 
Then we're going to be going in with this um, darker purpley color called Rockstar. It's kind of like a wine grapey color. It's really, really pretty. Both of these colors I just kind of put all over. I didn't really, really focus them on a too specific spot, but most of the color I'm wanting on the outer corner because we're gonna do that glitter cut crease and I don't want too much going on on the inner corner. Then we're going to be going in with this dark purple color called Mystic. And this is absolutely gorgeous too. The pigment in this was so strong that I had to be very, very careful about tapping into this because just the littlest bit like brought so much color to my eye. Now this color we're focusing underneath the brow bone. I'm not wanting to take this color up too high because I wanna see that beautiful transition between the lighter purples into the darker. Last but not least, we're going to be going in with Berry Treasure. It's this gorgeous, really, really dark, shiny, glittery purple. Oh my God, it's just so pretty. And I'm going to be focusing that on the crease and the outer corner. I'm gonna take my big fluffy e.l.f. blending brush and I'm just gonna make sure that those colors meld together very well and get rid of any harsh lines. Hey. Don't mind me, I have issues. <laughs> We're gonna go in with Jim and we're gonna put that not on the lid, but like in between the lid and the outer corner, just to bring the purple coloring back into the look because with that berry treasure, we kind of darkened it a lot and you couldn't really tell that it was a purple look. So I wanted to go in with Jim and bring back the purple coloring. I'm gonna sweep my bake away because we're now done with the deep, dark, crazy colors. And now we're gonna cut the crease. For me, I have very, very hooded eyes, so doing cut crease is a little complicated for me. So what I do is I like to allow the flap of skin that I have uh, that makes me have hooded eyes. It's like, oh my gosh, it's so gross, but. I like to let that rest over my lid and I like to start my cut crease on top of that little flap of skin, just barely touching it. And then when I open my eye, I have like this perfect outline for where the crease, cut crease should be. And that is basically the only way that I'm capable of doing a cut crease that looks nice on me. Otherwise cut creases either disappear on my eye or they look entirely too large because I have a very very hard time finding my eye crease. But I'm only going to do a half cut crease today because I want those purples to stay very prominent on the outer corner of my eye. So I'm only going to go halfway with the cut crease today. Now I'm going to be setting where I did my cut crease, I'm going to be layering it with a layer of um, clear lash glue and I find that for really chunky, chunky glitter, this works so well. Like it just sets everything down, it doesn't take away from the sheen of the glitter and it's just really, really, it's a really, really beautiful finish when it's done. And the other thing that I love about it is because it's lash glue. When you go to take the glitter off, you can literally start at a corner and peel it off. Like you do not have to sit there and wipe and wipe and wipe, being afraid to get chunks of glitter in your eye. You do not have to do that. Like literally all I have to do when I take my glitter off is start at a corner and peel it off and all of the glitter comes off and it's amazing. And then I can just go in with a makeup wipe and remove the rest of it. And it's just awesome.
I don't remember the name of the glitter that I used, but I do know that I bought it from these like little Ziploc bags from Claire. Claire's. And um, my Walmart had just opened up a Claire's, so I went in there and I was so curious. And then I found these little Ziploc bags of chunky, beautiful, sparkly, holographic glitter. And I'm like, oh, okay, definitely. I think they only cost like six bucks too. They were so affordable and it came with a lot of glitter. So it was definitely worth it. Um, I went back in with the color Mystic to darken up those outer corners a little bit more and bring the color back in. I'm going to get rid of all of the like shadow fallout that I had at the bottom after doing the purple and just go in with some concealer and yeah, make that disappear. Plus helping to make a sharp line for my wing liner. I'm actually finding a liner to use um, for this makeup look was not easy. Um, I cut out most of the clips, but I tried like three different liners before I came up with this one. And this is, um, a black liner by Nick AK and I bought it at my local um, beauty supply store and it's pretty good I was just having a hard time finding something that was laying down on top of the glitter and sticking so this one ended up grabbing onto the glitter pretty good it did try to like move around a little bit but I just kind of took my time and just like patted it on there. I didn't really sweep it across my eye. I kind of patted it on there in the way that I wanted it to go. And then as it dried, it became more tacky so that I could add more um, pigment to the black. So it ended up working out pretty good. I basically did the wing liner just to darken up the outer corner. I know that you can't really see it, but it just makes the look a little more sharp. And then I, on the lower lash line, I just went in um, with the color Rockstar, then Mystic, and then I just put a little extra of the Berry Treasure on the outside. And then I... Um, line my waterline with a LA Girl Jumbo Blue Pencil and um, the inner corner of it with the LA Girl Jumbo White Pencil. And then I'm going to go into this Smoking Mirrors palette that I have. Um, it's the baked highlighter that they have. I found this palette at Five Below. And they're, the highlighters on these don't work so well as highlighters because they're very, very glittery. So I like to use them for like my inner corner or my brow bone and it's just really really pretty. They're also really gorgeous as an eyeshadow with just a little spritz of setting spray on your brush and dip into this and it comes out gorgeous. And I'm going to use that for my inner corner and my brow bone. Next, I'm going to be adding the lashes. I believe these are my LA Girl Dolly lashes. If they're not Dolly, they're Dear Mirror, I'm sure. But I think they're the Dolly lashes. Oh, no, 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 no. These are Adele Wispies. Yes, that's what they are. They're Demi Wispies. Sorry. <laughs> I have issues. Um, yes, these are the at Edel, I believe that's how it's pronounced, Demi Wish Wispies. I didn't recognize them at first. And then I'm taking the um, CoverGirl Queen Lash um, Mascara and I'm going to just be melting those lashes in with my own. And then I'm going to contour with a little bit of the Black Radiance um, Contour, uh, their bronzing palette. I'm not really, really sure what the exact shade is, but I will let you know in the box below. And then this highlighter, I believe, is a Makeup Revolution highlighter palette. 
and it's really really good I love it I used the pink and purple shade mixed together and I put that in there and then this is just a little um, palette that I got um, from my husband and um, I believe he bought it from Five Below and I just um, put a little bit of one of those peachy shades on my cheeks next I'm going in with this Plum Lip Liner by Maybelline. It's one of my favorites. And I'm going to line my lips for the lipstick. I like to blend it into my lip a little bit better, so I feel like it just transitions into the matte lipstick a lot better that way. And then I'm going to be going in with Romantic by Maybelline Super, it's the Maybelline Superstay um, Lip Ink. And this stuff is amazing and like I said the name of the sh uh, shade is Romantic. pay no attention <laughs> um, and then I'm going in with um, this crushed diamond lip gloss also by Nick AK and I got it from my local beauty supply store I got the pink one and the gold one and they're both such a gorgeous shine added to a matte lipstick and they don't break up the matte lipstick that much so there you have it the finished look um, I hope you enjoyed my video thank you so much for joining me on my channel please like subscribe leave comments let me know how I'm doing and I promise I will not be that long between my next videos okay that is it guys thank you so much for watching stay beautiful and blessed and I will see you in my next video